Alright guys, we are in a city called Kolanavivari. Kolanavivari. Check this out. I think that's like one of the rivers, but you can see the steam boiling there. So this whole city sits on like thermal activity. So they've got like a lot of hot springs, mineral springs. But I like the architecture up there of the buildings. Very colorful. So I'm here with my Vietnam family. You didn't know I had Vietnam family. That'll be in another vlog. Anyway, we are just having a bit of a walk around Kolanavi Vadi. Beautiful city, but it is really cold because it's winter. So all the trees are leafless. No leaves. I haven't seen any birds around. But that's interesting seeing these buildings like from the Renaissance Baroque period. But we're just walking around the city and checking out some of the vibes. And hopefully we can come across some of those springs. I am intrigued by spring water. Being back in New Zealand on the farm, we had our own spring. So here they have thermal springs and they've got like I think about 10 or 20 and you can swim in some of them so it'd be awesome to go for a bit of a swim and uh, shrug off some of this cold winter weather here we're just going to walk through one of the parks so the Vietnam fams they're taking us to one of the squares. Check out these trees. Look at that. Wonder what they look like in summer with leaves. And some of the winter flowers. This looks like a spring, but there's no water in it. And it seems to be the water bearer, Aquarius. He's got no water pouring out of there. Looks like a bit of a monument there. Obelisk. You see those planted all around the world. Some people seem to think they are uh, Illuminati obelisks or Freemason obelisks in significant places. But check out all these old school Baroque buildings. They go up into the square trees and you've got like people on horses and carts. Pretty beautiful city. I like to see it when it's in summer. See all the flowers and trees blossom. Nice little stroll through some of the parks here in this beautiful city. Got the river flowing through here. Looks kind of like a man-made river. I wonder what their building is right there. We shall proceed and explore. Check out that old school building. The architecture here is pretty cool. You can see it all in the distance there. Bit of a pond. So 
Ah, you can use the cups to drink out of the uh, springs here. Ah. Hello. So they reckon it's quite good to drink the uh, spring water here. You can use your hand or you can buy one of those cups and just use the cup to drink some of the different spring waters they have here. Must say that is a pretty awesome view of the city. Carlo Vivari. Carlo Vivari. Wonder what it actually means. Got a few people taking selfies along here. Anyway, we better catch up with the fams. They're taking selfies down here. Now I've been watching a few videos about Czech Republic and there's a couple of scams you need to be careful of. People coming up to you and going, oh, I can exchange some of my uh, euros for like Czech money. But in actual fact, the Czech money they give is old money that can't be used anymore. So you've got to be careful. And it's not wise to exchange money with people you don't even know. Better to go to a shop or a currency exchange place that's official. Let's have a little look inside. We shall explore. Whoa, look at all these pillars. That is amazing. Kind of reminds me of the architecture in Greece and the architecture in Italy. Oh, look at some of the springs here, guys. So the water is quite hot. Oh, it's actually warm, not too hot, but you can see it's steaming. So this whole place sits on like thermal activity. And there are springs everywhere. It's amazing. Wow. So amazing. It's taking years to put that together. Now, where is the Vietnam fams? See water closet. One euro. All right, let's get down to business. Damn, that was an expensive pee. What I was saying before, guys, is that if you are near a lemon tree, you pee near the lemon tree because um, the lemon trees love the acidic acid. I learned that staying on an organic fruit farm back in Pocono, New Zealand. When you're busting to go for a pee, look for the lemon tree and uh, do your thing. And believe it or not, man, those lemons come out juicy. One euro here is like probably two dollars New Zealand just to pee here. But that's Europe for you. Anyway, where are the Vietnam fans? I can hear orchestral music baroque music and I think it's this guy over here playing the violin let's see if we can uh, give him some of my uh, change let's give him a couple of euros there you go good on you mate People filling up their cups. Wow.
they say they're drinking the water from the springs here can uh, give you good vitality strength power uh, clear-mindedness some of the old school buildings lining the streets jewelry shops still retaining its uh, authenticity place really reminds me of Italy especially up in uh, some of the northern regions of Italy like Venice the streets of Venice oh, check out that monument guys looks like Catholic Jesuits Star of David some of the symbolism there Catholic Church symbolism, if you're into any of that and know what it means. Let's have a look over here at this. Looks like a Medusa type head spring. It is. The snake. Just in at some of the uh, symbolism that you come across. It may just look like normal architecture to people but to others it's actually um, very significant symbolism check this out guys hot water is coming out of there the hot water is actually coming from that hot water fountain let's go and check out that hot water fountain whole bunch of tourists here they look like Russian oh yeah Russian flag Check that out. It's like a geyser. Doesn't smell like a geyser. Interesting though. Anyway, let me come back to this bridge and uh, we'll check out the Carlo Vivari sign. The Carlo Vivari sign. That these people are taking selfies along. And there's the bridge and the river. What is this? I think it is one of the colonnades. A place where the uh, spring water bubbles up and they've like built structures over the spring water so people can buy like cups different bits and pieces and then come here and fill up their uh, cup they call these colonnades hey yeah, look at that they drink it here for vitality strength Kind of like the uh, natural Viagra of the earth. <laughs> 